Hey guys, it's Brittany and welcome back to my channel. For today's recipe, we are making mini pumpkin pies. They're whole food plant based, no refined sugar, and delicious. The perfect treat if you're going somewhere in October or maybe even save it for Thanksgiving. These are individual little pumpkin pies that I love. I keep these on hand when October hits and they're so easy just to grab one, two, or three, depending on uh, your size of pan. So I have this really mini silicone pan that we're gonna use today. Um, it's perfect for just wanting a small treat or you know, if you're serving it to a lot of people, it makes a beautiful tray if you're having a party. Um, you can use a regular muffin pan, that works as well. You can use a non-silicone pan, just you wanna line it with parchment paper. Um, I love this because we don't have to do anything. There's no oil no parchment paper, it doesn't stick to my silicone pan, and I'll have this linked in our description box below. Um, but this is such a favorite tool of mine, and it makes the cutest little pies. So I'm actually teaching a cooking class up this upcoming Saturday on everything pumpkin, and I will have this as one of our, one of our featured recipes in the class. So I just love showing people how easy this recipe is. It's so simple, we're gonna get started. Um, we're gonna make the crust first, it's like a two-part recipe. Now this crust works well for so many different recipes. This is like such a nice, whole food plant-based, quick crust that you can make this and you can put, we're gonna have a pudding pie come out very soon using this exact same crust. You can put fresh fruit, so many different options, it's gonna blow your mind. So make sure you get your pan out, get a bowl, and then we're gonna mix together our ingredients. So there are two different ways you can do this, and I'll explain for our sweetness. The main ingredient for our crust is oats. So the first thing I did was I took my high-speed blender, I put in one cup of rolled oats, and I made it into a flour, okay? I have that right here. So this is one cup of oat flour, which is just the rolled oats that I've pulsed to make oat flour, okay? Make sure it's really finely pulse so you kind of want to let it go for just a couple minutes and then I have my rolled oats right here I also have one cup of rolled oats so it's one cup of oat flour and one cup of rolled oats and I'll have all the measurements down in the description box below but one to one super easy to remember I'm gonna give that a nice toss now this is for me to eat so I will might be using my hands to form um, the crust, when I teach my cooking class, I'll have gloves on. But uh, if it's just you at home, you kind of want to get your hands in it. So with clean hands, um, you're going to start mixing in a minute and forming our crust. All right, so it's nicely incorporated. And now what I'm going to do is going to add something to make it stick together. I made date paste. And I have a video up above. If you've never made date paste, it's just dates and water that make a paste. And I like to have this kind of in my refrigerator at all times, just in case for cooking or I need it for a recipe. So it's half a cup of date paste. You could also use um, a banana. I've seen people do that. Maybe, you know, you want to make it the same consistency, so you might have to play around with how many bananas, depending on the size. You could also use one half cup of applesauce. So there's lots of different options. And um, and then this is optional. I have one tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice that I like to add. If I'm making something that's not pumpkin pie minis, I don't usually add this. So um, this is just kind of to give it some extra flavor. You can totally leave it out. You can add so many different spices instead of that if you want just cinnamon, if you want to add some ginger, whatever you like. Remember, you're making this so that you like this recipe for you. Everyone has different tastes. So I give you a base, but you can go wild, use your imagination, and make it your own. So half a cup of date paste goes into this. And I've got pretty good at eyeballing it now. You may need a little more or a little less depending on um, just how much it's sticking together. Sometimes I need anywhere up to um, three-fourths of cups. So it just kind of depends how, how my oats are, are reacting. So you want to go ahead and mix it in. You want that date paste to really start to form everything together. It's kind of like the glue for this. Once you have your um, dough kind of formed together, you may need to add a little bit more of date paste or whatever sweetener you pick just so that all of the oats are well combined. I just kind of eyeball it after I do one half cup. I just add a little bit more 
depending if I have some, some things not sticking. And then I just take like a little tiny ball with clean hands and you just want to press it into your silicone or your dish and you just kind of want to put your thumb and kind of form the crust. So I'm just kind of going around the outside making like a lip and evenly trying to, you want to make it even, trying to pinch together like a little, a little cup. So simple and easy. And this is gonna be ready to go. So once you have everything all ready to go, you preheat your oven to 350 degrees. These take anywhere from 18 to 25 minutes, depending on your oven, everyone's oven's different. And usually around the 10 minute mark, I turn my pan um, around just so it evenly browns. Just keep an eye on it. These can burn the tops a little bit, so you just wanna, you don't wanna leave your oven and go far. Just kind of peek at it at the 10 minute mark. And like I said, it takes 18 to 25 minutes, depending on your oven. But these are so simple and they make the perfect crust for lots of different things. So I'm gonna go and whip these up and then put them in the oven and we'll make the filling. But like what easier of a, of a recipe could you want for pumpkin pie? So while the crusts are in the oven baking, we're going to make the filling. And we aren't going to bake the pies again. So the filling we're actually going to keep cold until the pies come out. Um, so this is just really, really simple. Literally so simple. And now you can make this as sweet to your taste as you like. So you just need one can, 15 ounces of pumpkin. I have that right here. Add it to a high-speed blender or even a bowl. You can you just use a mixing bowl for this. You don't have to use a high-speed blender. Um, you want to add in your plain pumpkin, make sure it's just pumpkin, not pumpkin pie. That's really easy to grab the wrong can when you're going to the grocery store. Um, always double check. So I just go ahead and add all of that. All right, got it all out. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to add date paste. So again, you can sweeten this with applesauce if you wanted to. I'm not sure 100% how that would come out with the taste. You could do like half applesauce, half date paste. Um, same with the banana. I probably would skip the banana for this part. I like to use half a cup of date paste for this. Again, you're not sitting down and eating like the entire tray of the pumpkin pie minis. Um, so the amount of sugar that you're getting from the date paste uh, if you're worried about that or whatnot, um, isn't going to be that much. So you can, again, you can add anywhere from like one fourth cup to half a cup. You can also taste this as you go. So I'm going to, you can blend it. If it's sweet enough, you can stop. If it needs to be sweetener, you can add more. I like doing this because again, your taste buds and my taste buds might be slightly different. Same with your guests. Um, but I would say around half a cup. So I just eyeball it, but it's around that. And then I like to add a tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice to this. And that's it. So simple and easy. So I'm just gonna blend this up. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when it's blended up. We're gonna stick it into our refrigerator, wait for the crust to be done. The crusts are gonna cool completely. Then I'm gonna chop it with a pumpkin pie filling and put them back in the refrigerator and they're ready to go. I would refrigerate them for around an hour before serving them, but if you are getting impatient and want to jump in, you totally can. I just love it. And I'm all about the simple recipes. You know I am. So this is so easy and quick and simple. Will totally be so cute for a party. You can make them for if you're having a Halloween party, you're having something for Thanksgiving, if you just love pumpkin. Um, I just adore this recipe. So I'm going to go blend this. Again, you can just mix it by hand if you want. Just make sure it's really well incorporated. We're going to wait for those pumpkin pie crusts to get out of the oven and then we're gonna put it all together and I promise you, you're gonna be so surprised with how simple and delicious this recipe is that I just, I always have them in my refrigerator because if you've been following this channel, I have a sweet tooth. So usually I like to um, end my night with something sweet. So I'll either make our berry crumble. That's a great recipe that is really delicious. And in October when it hits and even September, I start making these because they're just, they're easy on the road too. Um, over the weekend we were like running around like crazy and it's just so easy to pop in and go and and you're getting pumpkin, you're getting your oats, you're getting dates. So it's like not, you know, 
you're definitely not having junk food. It has fiber, it's good for you, and I love it. So I'm gonna stop blabbing. I'm gonna go blend this up. We'll put it all together. And I can't wait for you guys to try it. So simple and easy. You guys are gonna like this one. Our pumpkin pie filling just got done and takes seconds to blend. And I always tell people to taste at this point because if you need to add more sweetness or you want to tweak it, now's the time. You can also add more spices. I love it. It's so simple and easy and you should make it the way that you like it. Everyone's taste is different, so this is just how I prefer it. And let me try it. It literally tastes like pumpkin pie filling um so yummy and easy and sweet mm. but not too sweet where it's like overpowering so i make mine with half a cup of date paste you can use one fourth a cup to three fourths a cup if you really want it sweet um but try it you know you maybe add one fourth of a cup at a time till you reach the level you're you like i'm gonna go pop this into the refrigerator let it chill let our little uh mini <laughs> tiny mini crust come out of the oven and cool and then we're going to put it all together and I'll show you but I'm all about making whole food plant-based taste good make it easy and you know simplify your recipes where you're not overwhelmed by anything and this one is so perfect so if you do not like baking if you're somebody who you know is a little intimidating by doing desserts this is such an easy recipe and again those crusts you could literally do a million different recipes with it and if you guys like these, I will make more delicious recipes that you can put in those crusts because it's so simple and I love it. Again, you can use um, a regular muffin pan, like a 12 uh, muffin tin, and they'll make like individual ones too. They don't have to be so many. You can make large ones. However you'd like to do it, it totally works with all different sizes. I just really, really, really like the mini ones and just think they're so adorable and easy if you're going to a party or if you just want something quick and fast. You guys know I have a sweet tooth and I like just something little and this or the Berry Crumble have lately been my go-to. Also, like if you're traveling a lot or working and you just need something to go, I love this because it's so easy to travel with and yeah, so we always have it on hand. I can't wait for you guys to try it. So I'm going to go put this in the refrigerator, we'll wait for our crust to come out of the oven, I have around 8 minutes left on that, and we're going to assemble it, but this is such an easy and simple recipe you guys are going to love. Once your little cute pie shells have cooled, you can go ahead and top it with a pumpkin pie filling. It is so delicious and cute. You're definitely going to have some pumpkin pie filling left over, so you can of course make the crust again. You can use it in a different recipe, but... I love these. These are so yummy and delicious and so cute. Um, I just fill it up to the top and then they're ready to be eaten. Real quick though, uh, if you guys are in the Pittsburgh area and want to come to a live cooking class with me, I'm teaching a pumpkin class this upcoming Saturday on the 12th. It's at a local library here in Pittsburgh, so I will have a link to that, how to find out about the class down below. It's free. Um, I'd love to have you in class and you can come join. We're going to make pumpkin soup, pumpkin pasta, pumpkin bread, pumpkin seeds, and these little mini pumpkin bites. So lots of fun, lots of fall festivities. I'd love to have you. Again, that'll be in the description box below if you're in the Pittsburgh area. It's a live class. Um, and I'm excited for it. But I wanted to make some of these recipes so people that go to the class can come back and rewatch, and you guys can make it at home that can't make it. So this is just such a little treat and we love it as soon as the fall fall starts. I'm, I'm all about it. Um, so make sure you're subscribed. Leave me a comment below if you like these, if you made them, what you did differently, of course. And make sure you thumbs up this video. Subscribe like always so you don't miss any of our videos. I'll see you guys on Sunday for a new one. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'm going to go enjoy some pumpkin bites. And the crust doesn't fall apart either. Super easy to eat while you're traveling. Doesn't make a mess. These are so good. And so after I top all of these off, I'm just gonna stick them in my refrigerator and let them chill. And then you can just go grab them when you're in the mood, but I'm in the mood now.